In this session, we're going to focus on how to calculate the number of neutrons in an atom. Let's begin by reviewing what we know about an atom. In the center of an atom, we have the area known as the nucleus. There are two types of particles which we find in the nucleus of an atom. We have protons, which have a positive charge. They have a mass that is equal to 1. And we actually call this an atomic mass unit, AMU, although that's not typically something that you have to be concerned with. We also have neutrons. Neutrons, as the name indicates, have a neutral charge, which means they have no charge whatsoever, zero. We'll often write those N with a small o next to them, letting you know that they have no charge. Notice that they're of the same size as a proton. They have a mass also of one AMU. Outside of the nucleus, in the electron cloud, we have the electrons. The electrons have a charge of negative one. And notice how much smaller an electron is when compared to the protons and the neutrons. So the mass of an electron is what we say is negligible. It's so small that we don't concern ourselves with calculating it. So they have no mass to be concerned about when we're calculating. So if we look at this situation right here, we have one, two, three protons, one, two, three, four neutrons, and one, two, three electrons. Three protons indicates that we have lithium. So this is what it might look like when you look on the periodic table uh, for lithium. With this number up here being the atomic number. Atomic number tells you the number of protons, which is what we saw before. So we know we have three protons. This number down here, which is the atomic mass, tells us how much mass this atom has in general. What we do is we round this to the nearest whole number. So 6.9. That 9 tells us that that 7 is going to round up. So we have 7. Now as we saw over here, the only things that have mass are protons and neutrons. So the only things that have mass that could be part of our atomic mass is protons and neutrons, which means that we are missing one number. If we have three and we need to get to seven, we are missing the neutrons. So we could say three plus what number would give us seven, or seven minus three and that would allow us to calculate that there are four neutrons. I always like to write it this way on my paper because it mimics perfectly what you see on the uh, periodic table. All right, so let's move forward and do one more. All right, if I look at this atom right here, I have uh, nine as an atomic number. It's fluorine with 18.998 as an atomic mass. So what would we do uh, for this problem to calculate the number of neutrons if the question asked how many neutrons there are in this atom? Okay, we need to realize that number 9 up here is the atomic number, so we have 9 protons. If I draw the line down here, 18.998 would round to 19, and again, that would equal the number of protons and neutrons. So something is missing to get us from 9 to 19. We know the only other things that have mass are neutrons. So 9 plus what number would get us to 19? 19 minus 9 would give us there are 10 neutrons in an atom. 